Another day, another new laser. I have the Algo Laser 20 Watt Alpha. This is the entry level laser from Algo Lasers. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna review it, and we're gonna run it through its paces. Now, we always make something that's really cool having to do with guitars. This is a guitar related channel, so we're gonna do some really cool things. I can't imagine my workflow and my processes without a laser in my shop. I can't imagine being a guitar builder without a laser now. And this one really intrigued me because there's a lot of really cool features that are lacking from other laser manufacturers. So we're gonna take a look at those in particular. Let's get started. This is the air pump. Yep. This is from Shenzhen Algo Technologies. It's the Alpha. They have two models right now on their website, the Alpha and then their flagship, the Delta. This is the entry level. Engraving and cutting solutions for your business. And that's exactly what we're talking about here. Hello. Isn't that nice? This is the user manual. Engraving happiness. All right, here's the quick start guide. We'll need that. So this looks like it's gonna be just like setting up Laser Master 3. It's all in here. It looks like it's maybe three or four pieces and it's all compartmentalized. Here's the module. And this is what really intrigued me when I first saw it. Look at this. So my favorite part is that this shield, you can remove it. So this right here is what kind of sold me to look at that. It's magnetic. You can see the little tiny magnets here. Because these laser modules with the shield going all the way down, it's very helpful to protect your eyes, but it's really hard to zero in on your XY origin point, right? Because it's hard to see the laser through the little window. This makes it easy. You can kind of like zero in, get your origin point, and then put your protection on. That is one of the features that sold me on this laser. Cute little goodie box. Oh my God. Love this. All little screws and wrenches we're gonna need to build the laser. There's a power supply brick, goggles, power, and USB. And this is cool, it's USB-C. And we're gonna see this happening with laser machines. We're gonna see them, we're gonna see the iterations just kind of like exponentially get better and better and the innovations get better and better with model after model. And we have to keep up with it. Here's the front rail. So everything is already kind of cable managed right out of the box. Even the air assist hose is already kind of clamped to the main rail here. And they can see the laser module is already connected. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Let's refer to the user guide and we're gonna be good. This has got to be my favorite laser so far. Assembly was a piece of cake, essentially three screws on each corner to assemble a frame. That's it. You connect maybe three connectors and then the air assist hose. This laser got set up so quickly with my Mac and light burn. It's unbelievable. It just worked. No drivers, nothing. But the beautiful thing about this laser and one of the reasons why I wanted it so much is because Lightburn can control the air assist. If I have the air assist button on in Lightburn, as soon as it starts burning, the air assist turns on pump automatically. 
So I can automatically turn the pump off and on with that button, which is brilliant. So that's one of the feature sets that makes this a little bit more modern than other laser machines. The other thing that I love so much is just the ease of use. There's a clamp system here to raise the laser up and down. There is the height lever here with like a switchblade style button to release it. And then of course the shield comes off and on very easy. Now we just got to work on some really cool projects and I have a couple in mind that I want to do that are guitar related. So let's get to that. Awesome. Let's take a look. It's just killer the way this came out. Detail is just extraordinary. Now I did have to rub this down with some alcohol to remove that black charring. And it comes off so easily with just a little bit of alcohol. But I now have those like little bits of paper towel like in all the little crevices. So one thing to note is that you can set your laser to like engrave the leather or you can get your laser to cut the leather. And then there's a lot of like in between those two things. And so I tried a couple of different test runs and I kind of landed on this. It's actually doing a cut. So it's actually cutting into the leather, not just engraving on top of the leather. And the reason why I chose this method is because the cut actually gives it a little bit more depth. So. When the light hits it, you get like a shadow from like the channel it's making. And you can have like thicker channels or thinner channels. So for example, up here with the hummingbird, very, very thin lines. But then down here with the kind of the paisley flower, you have like these thicker strokes. So these straps are so cool. So already you can start thinking about all the cool things you can do with like a laser and simply leather. But Super cool and super neat project. Let's do another one.
also built the lantern just because I could, because I had the material and I thought it would be really cool. So all I did was take that plywood after the laser cut it out and I stained it with some chocolate brown leather dye. And then I just simply tacked it together with some super glue. It came out awesome. The Algo laser is just crazy when it comes to this detail. I don't know how else you could do something like this. And it was extremely fast in cutting this. I have my speeds and my power settings down so I know exactly how to cut this wood. And I'm very impressed with this laser. So let's go ahead and put a candle in there and see what it looks like lit up. So I really wanted to test how precise and how intricate we can get with the Algo laser. And so I decided to design and make a loot sound hole. So lutes typically have very elaborate, very intricate sound holes, as well as old world instruments like ouds and barats from Iran and Egypt and Syria. But I think we all associate these intricate sound holes with just lutes in general. And they're quite beautiful. And I often wonder how artisans and craftsmen go about even making these and crafting them because they are so intricate and delicate. And again, even with the very fragile, intricate, elaborate designs, the laser did a phenomenal job. I really like this laser. It's my new favorite one. I mean, just look at the level of detail here. And it came out so fast. That's the other thing that I'm so impressed by. Because it's a 20 watt and I'm able to run it fairly hot, so this was at 100%, I'm able to actually run pretty fast so that it doesn't actually scorch or burn anything. Oh, that tiny little detail. All those tiny little points. And nothing broke. And it was perfect. So I ask again, and I've been asking the same question with everything I build on this laser. I have no clue how you'd go about crafting something like this without a laser. <laughs> I mean, once you get a laser, there's no going back. This one came out so cool. So these are all the negative pieces that need to be replaced with a different color wood. And this is pale wood. So I'm gonna be inlaying a darker wood into all those pieces and then the darker wood will be made out of these rings that will fit an inlay in there. And I have some of this leftover Indian rosewood from the Tom DeLong build. I'm just kind of wondering how many of these they can fit. And these little guys fit on here. So I can laser these out. Oh, the rosewood, I can inlay them in. But I just don't have a big enough piece of rosewood to inlay circles. So I need to get a bigger piece. But that's how easy it is on a laser. This operation didn't take long at all. It's fairly quick. 
So that's it. If we wanted to build an acoustic guitar rosette, we could easily do it. On the laser, this laser is just killing it. It's killing it. Love every little thing about this thing. So these are my final thoughts on the Algo Laser Alpha 20 watt. It's my new favorite laser. It's my new go-to laser. It's gonna basically be the one that I use for pretty much everything. I love the build of it. It's pretty rock solid. Assembly was a piece of cake. It has that automatic air assist, which I just can't live without now. And it has so many really cool features just on the module itself from the magnetic shield to the kind of lever action. So it's just, it's got this really cool lever lock so you can unlock the lever, slide it, lock it back down with that Z axis adjust right there and the kind of the switch blade button to retract it, which is super cool. And it just basically works. And it's the first laser that I've gotten that actually works well with my Mac. So I'm an Apple user and this just worked. It just worked perfectly. I didn't have to kind of goof around or noodle around with it. And the other thing too, which is really cool, that it came with the Air Assist and it came basically pre-assembled with all the actual wire management and the Air Assist hose all clamped together. So I really didn't have to do anything except put three screws in each corner and connect the cables. And there was this little uh, rod system down here that I just you know, tightened with like a little Allen key and that was it. And I love that it's a USB-C also. So cut USB-C connector, yay, finally, you know, something that's a little bit more modern. So there are a lot of really cool features with this. But again, I can't imagine, and I'll say this again, having a shop without a laser. A laser is now my kind of go-to tool for everything. So I only have good things to say about this laser, only positive things. There's not one single con, not one single thing I can think of to complain about. That's pretty rare. And I just love the quality and the look of this. It's black, which is really cool with the red accents. I know that's kind of silly, but it does look cool. Um, I love my gold Laser Master 3 or 2 or 2. So those kind of like aesthetic choices and just color design really speak to me. This laser is perfect. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.